Hey guys, it's Sarah and today is the Cheeky Studio blog hop and we are scrapbooking about some of our favorite things today. So everybody on the design team has a YouTube video or an Instagram post or something on their social media that is their speciality and we are all posting layouts about some of our favorite things and it's a really fun thing that we're doing and I'm really excited about it and there is actually a way for you guys to be entered to win a package from Cheeky. All the details are down below, so look in the description of this video before you go anywhere and make sure you follow the directions and you can be entered to win some scrappy goodies from Cheeky Studio. So today, I am going to be scrapbooking about one of my favorite gifts that I just recently got from my best friend. This is a little keychain, and it says always in my heart with a little paw print, and then it says Brody and Annabelle. It has their little names on there all attached together. And my best friend got this for me after we lost Annabelle back in May, and then we lost Brody last April. So um, my two babies are frolicking around in heaven right now so um but that just when I got that I didn't know she was going to get me anything at all so it, it was a complete surprise when she sent it to me and I just cried my eyes out and it's definitely one of the most thoughtful gifts I've ever gotten so I wanted to post about that today now I'm going to be using all Cheeky Studio embellishments the only thing I'm not using that's that is not from Cheeky or from the kit or anything are thickers and papers. And that's just because the papers that I have gotten from Cheeky from last month uh, didn't really have the feel I wanted for the layout. Like the colors weren't what I were looking for to go with some of these here because these are older products. So that's kind of why. And the thickers, I don't know if I'm going to use black or gold yet. We'll have to see. Um, but I am using some bright, bright pink cardstock here. And that's going to back my... Um, paper. This background paper here is from, I don't know, there's no manufacturer on it. I want to say crepe paper. This looks like a crepe paper piece. I just don't have um, a branding strip on it and I'm wondering why if I cut it off or maybe it didn't have one to begin with. Maybe it came out of paper pad or something. I have no idea. Um, and then this one is from crepe paper as well. This is from Main Squeeze and it has just cute little um, scallops all over it but it has the colors I'm looking for pinks and reds and blues those are kind of the colors I'm going to be using here I'm also going to bring in some uh, distress ink from Tim Holtz to ink the papers as well and then for embellishments these are all cheeky I went into my cheeky box and just grabbed what uh, came out at me the biggest thing is the furry friends embellishment pack because I am talking about my dogs this one looks like my Brody and I'm super excited about it and then to go with those, I pulled uh, Wildflowers set four. And then I have the Sweet Succulents cut apart. These are like labels. I'm gonna cut some of these out and use these to journal on. And then I am going to be using this pink sequins pack. And I didn't keep the, um, the label of which collection this came from. I don't know why I didn't do that, so I'm sorry, but these are from Jiki. And then I'm going to use the Sweet Succulent um, Flare Badge that says Sweet on it. I'm gonna use that one. I have also this one here that says XOXOXO, and I think this is from the Valentine's Day kit. And then I also am gonna use a couple of these bows because I had a pink, pink for Annabelle and green for Brody, so, or blue for Brody, because I have girl and a boy so that was perfect and then this right here um actually I may do my journaling on this one instead but I'm thinking about overlapping my picture on here and then doing my journaling I'll probably do that because I have a lot to say <laughs> so um but I'll have this little flower peeking out as well so and this is from Cheeky okay I'm gonna go ahead and get started I hope you guys enjoy it and please again make sure you go check out everybody else on this hop so you can get your chance to win a prize package from Cheeky and um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so the first thing that I am going to do is cut down some of the mat that I have on my picture just a little bit. I am gonna have a thin white border that's just from the printing. And then I am going to end up putting that on this blue cardstock. And I'm gonna have a thick border with the blue cardstock because I want that to shine a little bit behind the picture to bring out some of the blues that is in the paper right here that I'm gonna cut down. Now this paper is a basil 
pink cardstock. It's very, very bright neon pink. And I've been trying to use that whenever I can. I did have a friend give me a whole bunch of it because she didn't need it and she knew that I had two girls who love pink and I just use it every chance I can. And it's perfect for this right here. Now this paper here, I cut down by about a quarter of an inch and I am going to use this as my main background. I do want to ink the edges and I put down my adhesive first, which was kind of dumb, but that's okay. <laughs> Nothing tragic, but I'm using the color Picked Raspberry in my Tim Holtz Distress Ink, and I'm just using my blending tool and inking the edges of this paper. And I'm going to do that because I'm going to be inking the edges of the other paper that I have as well. So I want it all to feel very cohesive and to you know make it seem like they were meant to be that way. And I really like the soft pink edges that it gives that paper too. All right, for this crepe paper one, I am just putting down where I'm gonna have my pictures and everything going, and I'm going to cut this down into a block. And then I will also ink the edges of this one with the picked raspberry again. And it's very subtle on this because there is a lot of color going on, but you can definitely tell in person that it has the inked edges. And then I'm going to put that right in the center, as centered as I can. <laughs> and then I will put down my picture on top of my journal card here. And again, I'm gonna put the adhesive down and then go ink it, Zara. So this one wasn't quite as long as the other one. And then I'm gonna put that down. So now I'm going to work on my title. I don't know if I want to use the black or the gold, so I'm going to just try them out. And I grab the gold first, and I, that's what I end up going with. I don't even pull out the black because there is some gold in the picture. Two of the, uh, the name plates in the picture are a gold. So I thought that was going to go nicely. It kind of help highlight that and bring that out. So I'm gonna end up going with these and I'm spelling out my favorite. I did favorite first just to see how much room it would take up and then uh, realized that it's not gonna take up as much room as I thought. So I added the my in front of there and it's gonna go right up on top there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start playing around with some of my die cuts. Now I am pulling out these two little dogs from the furry friends collection and the black and white one looks like Brody <laughs> and Brody was a little bit more uh, black in his face but you know he was a Boston Terrier so looks very similar Annabelle was a boxer and that little uh, brown one was kind of the closest one in that package that looked similar to Annabelle so I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and use that one it does have her coloring though she was a fawn color and I'm gonna put those two guys down there and then I'm gonna add one of the hearts from this package as well and kind of put it in between them. And then I'm going to uh, go ahead and pull out the flare badges I wanna use. I'm gonna pull out the XOXO, those sweet succulents, and then I'm going to use one on here that is a circle. So it's not gonna be a flare badge, but it is gonna be another circular element. And I'm going to use the word kind in kind of this purplish color. And that is from the Sweet Succulents label kit. And then I also cut out a little purple label as well, just so I can bring purple to one more area on the layout so it doesn't you know, seem out of place. And then I'm going to pull out these little bow ties and I decided to put them on the dogs and make it kind of look like they're wearing the bow ties. I thought that was really cute. So for Annabelle, I'm gonna have the pink and for Brody, I will have the blue. I really like the way that turned out. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut down this label here. And I'm going to actually put it underneath the title. It's gonna be kind of a extension of the title because I'm gonna write surprise gift on there. So my favorite surprise gift. And then I am going to pull out the wildflower die cuts and I'm gonna start placing them around two corners of my photo. I'm just gonna make little floral clusters here and then add a couple of little leaves coming out on each side as well so I'm just placing them to see if I like the way they look and the original way I placed them I really like so I'm gonna go with it <laughs> it's really nice when that kind of comes together like that so I really like the way that that looks I'm gonna go ahead and just start sticking them down and start from the bottom and work my way up <laughs> 
and um, I have a red, a pink, a yellow, and a light pink in each of these little clusters here. They're not all laid the same way, so that makes them a little bit different, and then I have the leaves coming out from them. I hope you can't hear my children in the background. They are home and uh, being a little bit loud. They're having fun playing, but uh, it's their last weekend before school starts. School starts on Monday, so... <laughs> Uh, I'll miss them when they're in school, but it's been a crazy, crazy summer for us. It's been a ton of fun though. Uh, we've had a really great summer, but they are definitely ready to go back to school and, um, they're excited to start at their new school. So, all right, now that I'm done with that, I am going to go ahead and do my journaling. I'm going to cut this out because it takes me a while. <laughs> I do journal on this entire card and it took me a few minutes to, you know, kind of figure out exactly the words I wanted to say, but I just talk about my best friend and uh, how thoughtful it was of her to send me this gift after both of our dogs passed away. And it's just such a great keepsake for me because it really helps me reflect and um, think about them often because I definitely do. I miss my babies. So... Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these flare badges down. So I'm gonna put the suite right on top there. And then I'm going to put the XOXO up next to my title. And then for the kind, I'm gonna pop this up because it is a flat paper embellishment versus the you know dimensional flares. So I'm gonna put a couple of pop dots on there. It does sit a little bit higher than the flares, but that's okay. But I'm gonna go ahead and put it right there. And then I'm going to use the pink sequins and I'm going to put a couple of pink sequins next to each flare badge. And I'm gonna use a dark pink and a light pink in each area there. And I'm just trying to keep them next to the circles. And add a couple here. And then that's gonna complete my layout. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know if you have any questions at all. Again, make sure you check out my description. I have all the details for the giveaway in the description of this video, so you can go and check it out. Make sure you check out everyone else on the blog hop as well, and check out Cheeky Studio, which I will have linked down below too. Have a great day, bye.